it keeps hitting me more and more about just generally how i also get an influx of information from across the world and i think about how the world is think about how your life is and and how things are going to going but you have to not just take it in you have to figure a way to put it out there in a way that is you know has clarity and it's concise and it's also kind of giving people almost like factual perspective mm. and not just perspective which is what you also get a lot of how how do you get yourself to that mindset how do you how do you how do you pick the story to post or at the basic level but also like how do you pick how do you communicate it so um the f- the fundamental so sort a of couple of things right so because the news that i put out on social media um and we'll put out on an app also very soon yeah. is run by human beings it's not algorithm driven in any way hmm. so it's not about oh this is really doing well so we should do more of this hmm. or people really responded to so we're not looking at any of the numbers yeah. because i on, uh, honestly believe that uh, views and interactions and likes on social media is the trp of the internet yeah. is, and that is, is the beginning the of the end yeah. yes so um i i still believe that news should be um it's sort of like your vegetables mm. right you have to have it in order to be a functioning member of society mm. it's not meant to be entertaining it's not meant to be fun it's not meant to be like it's just good for you no so the filter that we put in is this is this information important for you to know do you need to know this mm. um a do you need to know this simply to go about your day do you need to know this so for example if there is a alert that it's going to like some sort of weather problem in mumbai and you need to know this information to simply go about your day do you need to know this information to be a functioning member of society which means tomorrow when you decide to go out and vote do you need to know this mm. yes you need to know this if it affects you in a science and technology or climate that sort of way and then of course there are other things that we continue to include like for example sports uh, mm. you know so the information is meant to be the digital equivalent of skimming through your newspaper yeah where there's national news there's international news there's science and tech and climate change and there is you know the sports um we're not very good at the sports we're trying to get there though um the idea also is to be able to strip out of it any opinion any tilt in any way um any sort of emotion or color which is why it's that color hmm yeah um because i came out of an industry in which i spent you know 17 years which uses which manipulates emotion to keep attention which yeah right this fundamentally what it, do, it does yeah. uh television uses two emotions mm. to keep you interested and they need to keep you interested because that is what trp is and you know the longer you stay on that channel the more money they make yeah. fundamentally put so what do they do they either make you scared or angry there are only two emotions to manipulate mm. so scared is this horrible thing has happened and tomorrow it'll happen to you mm. or to your loved one it and you know the more i can get that crime to seem like it can happen to you the louder it becomes so f- for example so it's a terrible example but it's a true example a rape that happens in a city mm. to a young woman who is going to college or going to work sounds like something that could happen to any of us mm. that is the one that will get amplified more than anything else yeah. because tomorrow it could happen to any of you and then there is a lot of screaming and shouting of you should be afraid you should be afraid you should be afraid the other thing is anger hmm. where basically you manipulate anger and you say you should be angry about this it piss you off it should piss you off is anger angry 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 and the more angry you make someone the more they will watch because yeah. they're hoping that you will give them a conclusion to that emotion but there's no conclusion you just like rile up the anger for an hour and then leave that person to yeah. sleep yeah. in that sort of fluster and they kind of left with no outlet yeah at night before they go to bed yeah it's a really unhealthy thing to do for everybody involved uh, for the anchor for the people in the studio for the people in the pcr for the journalists who are working on this for the people who are watching it for everybody it's unhealthy for everybody so what i had done when i left television i actually sat down um 
in a couple of restaurants that I like, but also at home with like sheets of paper and drew out the things that I thought were problematic and listed out ways in which I wanted to be different going forward. And this was one of the ways that we will not use your emotions against you in any way. So I will not tell you whether what has happened is a good thing or a bad thing, how you should feel about it, what you should do about it. I believe that there is an intelligence in my audience to decide all these things for themselves. I will just tell you what has happened. That is my job. After this, you decide what you want to do. So we actually, if you look at the comment section, um, there will be people who say this is a good thing and there will be people who say this is a bad thing, happily coexisting next to each other. And I like the fact that we have found that middle ground where both of these sets of people are following this account. So it's not an echo chamber. Like it, we found that middle ground where people feel that, you know, I can read this. And there is, I mean, um, there's a lot of harsh things that get said and people are like, oh, why are you saying this? What about that? You didn't cover that. You didn't write about this. You didn't do this. What you about didn't give... is a... Yeah, yeah. But, and it, it gets pretty harsh, especially if you're working from home and you read all of it and you think that, you know, it, it feels, it feels hard yeah. on many days. But then I go back to those sheets of paper hmm. of why we do what we do. And we don't always get it right. We make a lot of mistakes, but yeah. we try as far as possible to stick to that purpose. For more insights like this, make sure you check out the full episode.